afternoon, I'm Sharon Bluff, the director for Halifax County Cancer Association. We're having a celebration of life today to celebrate cancer patients and their families as they have been through this struggle. We're so happy to be here and enjoy some time of laughter and fun. The Prizery was the location in the 2017 Celebration of Life sponsored by the Halifax County Cancer Association staff members, board members, friends and family. There were many folk that contributed from the vendors to sponsors and we wanted to make sure it was a grand celebration and it was just that. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out this afternoon. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Halifax County Cancer Association was formed in 1957. This is our 60th year anniversary. It's hard to believe that Halifax County has supported cancer patients for 60 years. Hi, I'm Sarah Vaughn. I just want to thank the Halifax County Cancer Association for everything they've done for me and my family. Um, my kids have been through a lot, but Halifax County Cancer Association made it much easier with paying the bills and um, medication and gas vouchers. And I'm in remission since 2015. Um, I would like to thank them for helping my mom and helping us out when we didn't have the money to. Thank you Halifax County. It was very nice of you doing this. I'm a survivor from lymphoma and I'm happy to be here. Thank you. From what I can understand, there are only four areas in the state of Virginia that has an organization similar to ours. It is Mecklenburg County, Charlotte County, Danville, Pennsylvania, and Halifax County. We would like to thank the Halifax County Council Association for all of their help and the people of Halifax County. We deeply appreciate everything you have done for us and any time that we can give back, please let us know. Many of you through the years have donated to the Cancer Association and now you're also receiving benefits or have in the past received benefits. We want to thank the Halifax County Cancer Association for everything they've done to help me and all the other people that have faced cancer in Halifax County. Thank you. They were a great support during my wife's time of fighting the battle of cancer. Uh, just keep up the good work. And it is because of people in the county that we are able to help. Cheryl Barber and myself are in the office and we have the pleasure of working with the patients and meeting them, spending time with them, getting to know them. But it is because of this county that we are able to do that. I want to thank the Halifax County Cancer Association for helping me out by uh, providing gas vouchers and um, helping me pay my bills. and. Um, Having programs like Throw Pain on Cancer, which I participated in, I want to thank Sharon Blosser too and all her colleagues for help for the things they've done to help me out. Most of all, I want to thank the county, all Halifax County, for donating money to the Cancer Association um, because it is going to good use. And I thank you very much. My recovery, recovery is well on its way. Today is National Cancer Survivor Day. It is recognized all over the world. Uh, there are celebrations going on all over the world. This is our second celebration and we hope to continue this each year. I'd like to thank the Halifax County Council Association for all the help and work they did doing me for my cancer survivor. I'd like to thank them because they are very good, they help you through a lot, and they help you and explain a lot to you. I thank God for the Cancer Society. They have helped me so much in my travel as I go from Virginia to Duke University. And I have to go again this Tuesday. But every time I ask them, they always send out the vouchers. So I thank God for it. We do a lot of fundraising throughout the year, but we just feel like on the first Sunday of June, it is an opportunity to, to honor our cancer survivors and their family caregivers. I want to thank the people of the Cancer Society and the people in Halifax County to help support the society, to help the people that has cancer. Because it is a journey. Through the years, the Cancer Association 
has been governed by a board of directors. All right, I want to thank the Halifax County Council Society for helping the people that, in the way they do. I try to help them raise funds there once a year. And I think it's a wonderful thing they got going and it helps a lot of people in Halifax County. The Council Association have been a real big help to me and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you all again. I'd like to invite everyone who is either currently serving on the board or has in the past served on the board to please stay in. <laughs> I appreciate what Halifax County so, uh, Council Society has done for me. Well, they were there for me when I was running back and forward to Richmond. And I thank God for them and I thank God for just keeping us safe. These individuals are the ones that help make decisions of how things are going to be run for the Cancer Association. And I do appreciate the dedication that they have and through the years, the time that they have donated to this organization. I'd like to say thank you to the Halifax Cancer Association. Without your help, I don't know if I'd be able to get back and forth to VCU. Um, I appreciate it so much. There was a lot of entertainment, and this was just one of the highlights. Uh, you should have been there. You would have really enjoyed yourself. Let's watch. You know, sometimes it just takes a special song to really warm your heart. Uh, let's listen. I'm sure a lot of you in this room have felt that your ship has been battled by that storm. But we're so glad that you're here today to, to celebrate with us. And I want to give my thanks, first of all, to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to the Halifax County Association, um, especially Sharon. She is a wonderful person. And all the people that is working with Sharon, I would like to thank them for everything that they have done for me in my life. I'd like to invite Wanda Stevens now to come and tell a little bit of her journey. I heard Wanda speak a couple of years ago and it just really touched my heart um, when we were at an event and I invited her to come out and just share some of her journey with us. God is an awesome God and he's worthy to be praised. In March 11, 2009, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and it said it was a triple negative inductive carcinoma. I'm like, what in the world is that? You know, and so I started doing a little research and everything like that and got a second opinion. I ended up going to Duke Cancer Center for my treatment. And at the first hearing of that, being diagnosed, I wasn't sick. And so the diagnosis did not change the way I felt. Because if I wasn't sick before the diagnosis, I didn't feel any different after the diagnosis. So I said diagnose, but I'm not sick. So sometimes, you know, when the word gets around and the family members and different ones hear about it and they making phone calls and doing all this stuff and say, I heard one that was sick. No, I'm not sick. I was diagnosed, don't feel any different. So why should I act any different? You know, and stuff. So, and that's that's the way my journey began being diagnosed with breast cancer, but not sick. And so the spiritual healing had already taken place with being diagnosed. Because it's, it's, it's two things that was going on with me, that spiritual healing as well as then I had to work on the physical. So that's where it began then at Duke with three wonderful doctors. Dr. Lee Wilkie was my surgeon. Dr. Kimberly Blackwell was my oncologist. And Dr. Janet Horton was my radiologist. And I wasn't on this journey by myself. Because I've been married now 45 years. At the time that I was diagnosed, it was, I was 55. And that's my better half back there. 
So even on this journey, we are never alone. And sometimes people think it's about them, but it affects everybody that you are connected to. And I'm connected to everybody that's in this building. We understand that cancer has no gender, no age, no race. It can affect anyone at any time. And it's not so much as being diagnosed, but how you go through that journey. You can go through it. You can stay stuck in it. It's a storm, you know. And having a positive attitude about what you are going through. And you might hear me say going through a lot because you don't want to get stuck. You just want to go through. But, I, but what I'm talking about is my journey. And everybody's journey is different. But I can only tell you about mine. Fred, I heard Ms. Stevens speak a couple of years ago, and it just really touched my heart and has stuck with me for a few years. So I wanted her to share her story with you all also. Hello, my name is Patricia Cruz. I'm a cancer survivor. I had cancer twice in each breast, and I thank God for the um, sharing them down at the cancer, I mean, um, cancer place, how they gave me uh, vouchers and things to go back and forth to Richmond ever since I've been going. And I thank God for them because they are really a big help to me. The Cancer Society has been helpful in keeping my spirits up, not to mention financially, and, uh, and just being there when I had questions. It, it made a big difference. Thank you all for coming out this afternoon. It is such a joy to celebrate with you. Um, I walk the journey with you as you call in or come by the office and talk to me. I count, a, I count it a privilege to be able to do that. I tell people that this is where God has put me at this time in my life and I really do appreciate y'all's friendship and your love um, for each other, for cancer patients here in the county. Cancer is a club that you do not want to join, but once you're in it, it's a different bond, I think, than you ever have had before. Um, I would now like to take a quick moment to have all of our support people, those that have been with someone and walked through them and held their hand, done all the things that has to be done for a person who is battling this disease to please stand. Thank you. This illness is a challenging illness on the patients. I tell people a lot of times, sometimes I think it is harder on the family members. And I don't mean to discount what the patient goes through at all, but as you're walking by it with someone else, you want to fix it for them, and you just can't fix it for them. You love them through it, and you care for them, and you keep on going. We will see you back here um, for our Celebration of Life 2018, the first Sunday in June. You'll be getting an invitation for it again. We have coming up September, September the 16th, our Walk for Hope. This is our 13th annual Walk for Hope at the fairgrounds, and we look forward to seeing you come out and celebrate again. Please enjoy and mingle, and we so appreciate you coming out this afternoon. Thank you, Halifax County. It was very nice of you doing this. I'm a survivor from lymphoma, and I'm happy to be here. Thank you. I'd just like to thank the Cancer Association for uh, all they do for the county. I had uh, radi 47 radiation treatments in them while they gave me gas money for each way, and I'm proud to be a volunteer to help them. Thank you for being with us today. We have had a great event with our celebration of life as we celebrate cancer patients. If you would like more information about Halifax County Cancer Association, call us at 434-476-2714 or visit us at www.hccahope.org. If you'd like to donate to the Halifax County Cancer Association, please call 434-476-2714 or log on to the website at www.hccahope.org. Thank you.